Hello friends, I am Navin from WP Help Guide. Welcome to another WordPress tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to easily add a sticky widget in your WordPress site using a free plugin. If you are wondering what's so important about the sticky widget, let me share the value it will add to your site. As you know, widgets will help you to create more engagement with your visitors. In some cases, you want some widget to keep in focus and remain fixed when your visitors scroll up or down. Such widget can be your newsletter subscription or ads or simply any other widget that you want your visitors to interact with. Making those widgets sticky will definitely help you achieve your goals. Now let's learn how to make the widget sticky. Before we get started, if you are new to the channel and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I request you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of my future videos. Now let's head over to the dashboard. Go to plugins and click on add new. The plugin that we are going to use is called Q2W3Fix widget. In the search field type the plugin name. Here you will see the plugin. The plugin is quite popular and it has 100,000 active installation. To install the plugin click on install now. After the plugin is successfully installed, click on activate. Now we are ready to make our widget sticky. To do so, go to appearance and go to widgets. And here you will see the sidebar where you can add your widgets. I have already added some widgets. If you want to add the widget, you can simply drag and drop the widget that you want to display in the sidebar. So once you expand the widget, and scroll down you will see the new option that is fix widget it is available for all the widget that you have added here you can see the fix widget same goes for any other widget that you have added so let's make the widget sticky in this case i want to make the newsletter widget as a sticky so let's enable this option and click on save now let's go to the site and open the post and scroll down. As you can see here, we have the widget in the sidebar and if you scroll down, you can see this widget is sticky and it is overlapping with other widgets. We'll fix that in a moment. So now if you scroll down to the post, you'll see this widget is fixed. And if you scroll up, you can see the widget is still fixed and it will go to that same position and the sticky widget option will stop. Currently this widget is overlapping with other widgets. So if you want to make any widget sticky, what I would really recommend is to drag and drop it to the bottom. Let's make another widget sticky as well. So in this case, let's make this recent post widget as sticky so let's select this fix widget option click on save and let's refresh the post and now let's scroll now this post is made sticky and this post occupies so many space so you cannot see the other option so let's pick this option with any other style and let's refresh this post and now you can see both the widget that we have made is sticky are now showing in this way you can easily make any widget that you want to make sticky let's untick the fix widget option for the recent post and only focus on this newsletter subscription now if you want to customize this widget option you can find on the appearance and fix widget option and here are the couple of settings available for this widget. The first one is the general option. So let's dive into what these settings are for. The first one is for margin top and you can specify the margin for the widget. So let's go back and refresh this post. And as you can see here, we don't have the sufficient margin. So let's increase the margin to something like 100px. 
and click on save changes let's go back and refresh the site and as you can see here we have successfully added 100 pixel margin above this widget so if you scroll you can see that this margin is still there the next option is for adding the margin bottom which is similar to margin top the next is the stop id so if you use margin bottom you also need to add the stop id so that it can find the html tag from which it will reference the margin bottom value the next is the refresh interval which is for adding the compatibility with the browser that doesn't support mutation observer api to be honest i don't know what this really means the next is the disable width here you can specify the width at which you want this widget to be disabled usually there isn't a sticky option in the mobile and tablet view so if you want to change this option you can change this value the next is the disable height same as the disable width the next setting is for compatibility and here the first option auto fix widget is automatically checked and this must be checked the next is to disable the mutation observer so if your browser is experiencing any kind of incompatibility you can play around these settings to see if it works or not the next is for enable the plugin for logged in users only so if you are facing any kind of issue you can check this option so that you can play around the settings and debug the problem only the logged in user will be able to see the widget your visitors won't be able to see so that you can debug the process the next setting is for inherit widget width from the parent container so if your theme support responsive sidebar you can enable this option the next is for debugging the jquery so if you are facing any scrolling issue you can play around these settings and see if it works or not the next is for adding the html id so if you want to make any element sticky you can add the id of that element and it will make that element sticky these are optional settings and you can play around according to your need once you are done click on save changes to reflect the changes on your site this is how you can easily make the widget sticky in your wordpress site i hope this video was helpful if you find this tutorial useful please like the video and hit the subscribe button for more wordpress related tutorial if you have any question or just want to share any thoughts please feel free to let me know in the comments below.